two, four, zero. Here we're looking at the balance between respiration and photosynthesis. During the day, carbon dioxide and water are combined in the presence of light to form glucose and oxygen. So this only occurs during the day. Equally, at the same time, glucose is being broken down in the presence of oxygen in the reverse direction and that process of course is known as respiration and this occurs all the time all the time and in fact in all cells so we have one reaction proceeding in this direction and one reaction proceeding in this direction and it's possible of course that they could be balanced so that the use of carbon dioxide and the consumption of, car of oxygen may be balanced. This is actually called the compensation point. If we increase light intensity during the day, then the rate of photosynthesis increases. So the rate at which we use up carbon dioxide will greatly increase and the rate of production of oxygen will increase. So the net effect would be oxygen production. So we have net oxygen production when there is high light intensity. If we compare that with the night situation, respiration continues, glucose is broken down in the presence of oxygen to produce carbon dioxide and water, releasing energy for plant processes, but photosynthesis is not occurring and so there's a net production of carbon dioxide. However, remember that the stomatal pores are closed and so there isn't a great deal of carbon dioxide given off by the plants.